salad? Is it a side dish? Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. We're not really sure if it's a salad or a side dish. I think it's a little bit of both. Before I share this recipe for our Mediterranean cauliflower, I'd like to invite you to visit weekendatthecottage.com, our dedicated website. When you're there, please subscribe to it. Look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel. You can subscribe to that as well. Drop us comments, give us a thumbs up, uh, click that bell button and subscribe to our channel. And then finally, when you make this salad, and you will make this delicious salad side dish, when you do, take a photograph and post it using hashtag weekendatthecottage on your favorite social socials like Pinterest, the Gram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, let me put up a photograph of the things you're going to need to make it. Nothing too complicated, everything readily available. Here's the process you'll need to follow when you make this at home. We're going to start by turning our oven on to 425 degrees. Rack is in the middle position. Now we're going to take one head of cauliflower. You just kind of trim away that central core. You can pull it out. Then you're going to pick away those little leaves around the outside. And then I want you to just roughly chop this head of cauliflower. Don't get too stressed out about it, you're going to slice up those florets and transfer them to a parchment lined baking sheet. We're going to do a tiny drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, uh, salt and pepper, and then this goes into the oven to roast for 30 minutes. Once your cauliflower has been in the oven for about 15 minutes, I want you to bring it out and give it a little toss just to move it around in the pan, return it to the oven, and you're going to bake for an additional 15 minutes. While your cauliflower is roasting, we're going to chop up a bunch of different ingredients. I have mini cucumbers. I'm going to trim off the ends, slice them down the middle, and then cut those mini cukes into chunks. These cute little grape tomatoes are so perfect. When you quarter them, they're going to add a nice sweetness to this recipe. On to some distinctly Mediterranean kind of flavors. I have marinated artichokes, about half a cup. I'm roughly chopping the artichokes. The recipe is calling for about eight olives. I always use 12 because I love them. So I'm taking those olives, cutting them down the middle and then slicing them. I also have about two tablespoons of drained capers. I'm gonna roughly chop the capers. Three small cloves of garlic, very finely diced. I also have a couple of additional ingredients, more about them in a second. But for now, let's start placing everything into a large bowl. We start by adding our chopped baby cukes. Give me those colorful tomatoes. The flavors of artichokes pair so well with the olives. I have the chopped capers. Let's toss in the chopped garlic. A couple of additional flavor enhancements. One quarter of a sliced and chopped red onion. I have about a quarter cup of roughly chopped parsley. A quarter teaspoon of chili flakes. All of those ingredients are in the bowl. Now we're gonna take our roasted cauliflower, add it right on top while it's hot. Grab your serving utensils. We're gonna give our salad a little bit of a toss before we add the final ingredients. We're gonna do a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna add some pepper, some salt. The last ingredient brightens the flavors of this salad so perfectly. We're adding the juice from one lemon, now we can give our Mediterranean cauliflower a final toss. So appetizing. Serve it for lunch with warmed pita. Serve it for dinner. It pairs really well with our barbecue chicken or our grilled lamb chops. Incredible. Now, as good as it looks, you know it has to taste good to get our final vote of approval. What do you think? Mmm. Mediterranean cauliflower is really delicious. Mmm. In fact, this is the next thing you gotta make and serve it to your friends and family. Until next time, bon appetit. Enjoy.